at that time, Louis was playing in a, in, a, in a predominantly like Latin club. You know what I mean? So everything was harder. You know, it wasn't so much the deep stuff. You know, so um, that joint we did it for that that crowd. You know, but it became a like a, a voguing classic, which is crazy because it wasn't made for that. But it was it just they they embraced it. If you if you ever hear Von Alor talk, because he you know he's who I get my inspiration from and things like that. And what it was with with the ballroom sound and in those older house tracks that they would play and to what it had became he would go to balls and um bring out a whole bunch of records and he said that everybody only wanted to hear the hot all night um so that's where he started to remix that ha into different tracks and he would make tracks for for categories so you know every category has different a different track that you would play for that so he made category specific tracks and that's where that kind of got started you know, we started yeah, looking at YouTube, and I said, Kenny, did you look on YouTube at these voguing battles? <laughs> they use this song on every single battle. I was like, wow. And then we started getting a lot of the vogas that come to the club, because, you know, they come to our clubs, too. And they would say, Louis, you don't understand. This record is our anthem. I was like, wow. Like, that record's had about nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been the vocal sample in it. And I think it's, you know, the it way we did the that. Movement. Yeah, it was the, just movement the movement of it, of it that yeah. clap, that loud clap at, you know, so it calls for that. You know what I mean? It's like, I guess it worked out perfect for them. But, you know, obviously you guys know that that is from the movie Trading Places. That's Eddie Murphy and uh, Dan Aykroyd when in the train. They go, you know, <laughs> that's where that comes from. The way it is, it's like with the hot dance, they have this crash sound that happens kind of on every fourth beat. So I think that kind of like, even that, that, I think that even changed Vogue itself, just the, the way that people danced and, you know, it had that kind of influence. And even for years now, we've been trying to like come up with like, what's that next sound that could be sampled so much and be a ballroom staple and still haven't figured it out. Okay. 